Teamwork is the number one for success for all businesses. We have all heard the saying, there is no I in team. But is that really true? In fact, there is an I in team and let me explain why. To have a well-oiled team, there's many factors that keep it running smooth with everyone in sync. Let's break them down, shall we? One vision. Everyone needs to have a clear vision of the end result or goal. There can be no grey areas and nothing can be left to chance or guesswork. A clear objective is key and this needs to be communicated early and ensure everyone is clear on what's at the end of the tunnel. This is called the brief and it's so important. And here is the I in the team. Everyone in the team has a job to do to fulfil their part in the team. If I am in the team, I have my piece in the puzzle to complete as my teammates do as well. Everyone is responsible not only for the end result, but their input to the team. Trust. Everyone must have trust in their teammates to meet their objective and not let the team down. And just like these crazy guys, if one fails, they all fail. However, sometimes if one fails, others may assist to pull the team back into line. However, this cannot happen too many times as this will cause unrest and lack of trust for the next project. Open communication is very important as everyone must feel comfortable so they can call on their teammates if in distress or unable to meet the demand of the team. However, they in turn must also be approachable and be understanding and willing to assist. We all need to have some give and take. We all like to think we're perfect all the time, but in fact, we are far from it. We have to understand that people make mistakes and it's important that we assist them, educate them and possibly nurture them and move on. Because the person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. The debrief. This area is widely unused, understood and certainly not used effectively. And just like the brief, the debrief is so important. A good debrief will highlight the good and the bad, ways to improve and ways to avoid catastrophe next time. And it's important that even if the job was done exactly as planned and the desired end result was achieved, the debrief must happen. So break down your job into the above categories and ask the team what were their thoughts on the above. And you just may be amazed at what you hear. With pen and paper, get ready, here come some key debrief questions. Did we achieve the desired end result? Did we go into the job with a clear and concise brief so that everyone was on the same page with one vision? Did everyone really understand their eye in the team? So did they know what their piece in the puzzle was? Were they confident they could complete their piece? Were they individually open to asking teammates for help if they had problems? Were they happy to assist a teammate who asked them for assistance? Did they have full trust in all of their teammates? Was there anyone they didn't trust or have confidence in from the start? And finally, did they have patience, a little bit of give and take with their teammates on all occasions? And if they didn't, when? Using the whiteboard, now reflect upon each point written on the board and supply all team members with a sheet highlighting the good and the not so good ready for the next job prior to the brief. So remember no grey areas with good communication and this sets the tone for success.